Hey, welcome back to the channel, Mom Bears Homestead and More. Today's episode of Pop Real Talk with Poppy Bear. Uh a little different. Um just because I I've done something to my ankle and it hurts very, very bad. But um that can't let us stop. Let us stop uh sharing the word, sharing the gospel. Um, I hobbled into church today. I hobbled out. I wasn't missing church because my ankle's not feeling great. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to what's on hand for today. Today, let's talk about Daniel again. Uh, the more and more I dive into Daniel and learn more about Daniel, it's pretty awesome. Daniel was, um, he was a true believer, you know. Um, he didn't, he didn't let King Nezimeser, that's wrong, but it's kind of close. Um, he didn't let him break his faith in God down. I mean, he st stayed strong. And... Uh, in Daniel chapter 2, it talks about, you know, the dream that King meant, whatever that guy's name is. It's Daniel's full of hard names to pronounce, but Daniel's a great book because Daniel has a lot of good things we can use in today's life in society in the book of Daniel. But anyway... Let's get back after it. He um, had a dream, and then he was, he told his guards and royal people that he wanted somebody to tell him what his dream was. And so they reached out to all the wizards and all them other peoples. And was like, hey, can you tell tell the dream? The king wants somebody to tell him what his dream was. And there's like, nobody can do that. So he was going to kill everybody. Well, Daniel, he prayed about it. And, um, you know, God came through and showed it to him. Give him the vision. And, you know, Daniel, he was facing to be killed. But he never lost, never lost faith in his one true God. And there was a lot. There's a lot of good verses in Daniel, second chapter. I really liked, liked it. Um, I think we got a six week um, sermon series on Daniel, and I'm really excited because it's a powerful book. Um, There's just so much there in Daniel that maybe gets looked over, um, and it shouldn't, because Daniel, I mean, you want to talk about believing in faith, he laid it all out there and never lost faith in God, and that, that's awesome, you know, that's like when he, I say when I finally laid it down and realized that I'm not in control, um, that I can also say I've, it's been nothing but rewards since, um, and with Mama Bear, you know, watching her grow in faith, that is a reward to me. Um, it's awesome. Just watching the people around me grow in faith is awesome. Um, one, one thing I like, you know, I can pull from the Dave Ramsey stuff is who you're around, who you're, who you'll become. So, you know, I want to be a better Christian. 
a disciple. Honestly, I want to be a disciple maker. And I, I think, you know, I've got a good start on it and I'm doing very well with that. Uh, I know a couple people that I've been able to help in different ways. You know, not, not all religion, uh, but God's laid it on my heart and give, give me the story to tell, to prove to people that we can do this. We are worthy. Uh, this week I seen, I shared something on Facebook that really touched me. Addiction. That is losing everything for one thing. Recovery. That is giving up everything for one thing. No, I messed that all up. Hold on. Yeah, giving up one thing for everything. And addiction is giving up everything for one thing. Um, it's just... I just want, you know, like I've said on here many times, if I can touch one person and bring one person to the Lord, that's all I ask. But I honestly believe I, I've done that one person. I've got that one person. Now it's time to keep going. So I want to say, and I don't know how to do this, but if 10 people would watch this video and go to church the next week, <laughs> that would make my heart so happy. And if two people go to church next week, still makes my heart happy. Um, it's just, you know, I... This is another saying I've always said, you know, and I learned, I learned it from the Ram, the Ramsey stuff. Um, I don't want to be better than no one, but I want everyone on my level. And right now, my level is up there. Um, it's awesome. And it's all possible through Jesus Christ and God. Um, so... If we we have to be fighters against the devil because he works on us every day in one way or another um, and we don't want him to win because um, he's tricky sometimes you may not think it's the devil working he's a sly fox so don't let him in that's where, you know, anxiety, depression, all that. Um, not thinking you're good enough, because you are. You are good enough for the Lord and Savior. Um, because I am. And I ain't no better than no one. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody that saved my soul. And I'm going to leave it on that one. And as always, guys, keep on keeping on because we love every one of you. And this is a personal invitation to Brownstown Christian Church next Sunday, 9 a.m. First service. I sat in the second row from the front on the right side. So let's fill that row, row up. Alright, keep on keeping on guys, love you.